Hey guys, I'm back today with another video. Now, do you have this problem with your Tesla Model 3? Some really squeaky windows. Hey there, welcome to the video. Now, do you have this problem? Every time you open and close a window, it's super, super squeaky. See, I thought this was something to do with me Sorry, I thought this was something to do with me cleaning the car, but I recently went to a friend's party. He's just got a Tesla Model 3, and there was another guy at the party who also had one. And we were talking about how much we love the cars and just talking about some of the niggles. And the guy said, oh, don't you just hate how squeaky the windows are? And I was like, I've noticed that as well. My windows are super, super squeaky. And my other friend said the same thing. So I went, went on to the Tesla Model 3 Facebook group and I was about to post about it. And I noticed there were already a few threads about this issue and it seems very, very common. So today I think I've got the fix. Now, I didn't find this myself. This is a really nice guy on the group, I think called William Otten. Hopefully I've pronounced your name right there, William. Um, and he recommended we use this. This is some gummy pledge stift. It's a German product which helps um, improve the seals of frameless doors. Now, I've had many cars with frameless doors and I've never really had this issue before. I think the issue seems to be that just Tesla are just not treating the seals very well uh, when they come out of the factory. I'm assuming a lot of car companies will kind of put this on and maybe Tesla is using a sort of cheapened version or they're not using enough of it. So hopefully this is going to fix the issue. I'll put a link in the description below, but now let's try cleaning the windows and the frames, put this on and we'll see if this fixes the issue. So the first thing we're gonna do just before I apply this to the seals, I'm just gonna give the windows uh, a bit of a clean on the inside with some window glass cleaner. So let's do that first. This should just get rid of any kind of debris from the outside of the window. Okay, I'm just finished drying this off with a bit of kitchen roll. Now I'm just gonna just quickly run my uh, kitchen roll across this and I can feel, it does feel very, very dry. So this is all clean. What I'm gonna plan to do is do this on every one of the seals all the way around. Um, so let's get out the product and try it now. Okay, so let's try this out. So there is actually a little applicator on the top here and it works a bit like one of those shoe polishes. So I'm just gonna stick this onto the seal here. And as you can see, it's starting to come at there. I'm just gonna dab it to get it wet. And as you can see, it's kind of soaking the seal. And I'm just gonna go around the entire seal of the car. And apparently not only will this improve the squeakiness, but it also improve the weather sealing abilities of the window as well. So you shouldn't get as much fog build up and, and damp build up with inside the car as well. Okay, so I've put on the first door. I'm just gonna allow that to dry. And whilst that's drying, I'm gonna put it on the rest of the doors. Okay, so now moment of truth. I've done all of the doors. We're gonna get back in the car. Hopefully this has fixed the issue. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's test it out. Yes, it's done the trick. We've now got silent windows again, which is really great. I think it was about 10 pounds, a big shout out to William again for uh, mentioning this product. I'll put a link in the description below if you wanna check it out. But I think this is gonna be something I'm just gonna leave in the boot and do every six months or so. I think in the summer, obviously your silicone frameless windows are gonna get very dry. In the winter, there's a lot more moisture in the air. So as I mentioned, this will not only help reduce the squeak, which is the main reason why I got it, but it's also gonna help stop your doors from freezing. I had a problem a few weeks ago where the handles were pretty frozen stuck and even though you can defrost the car obviously if there's moisture stuck between the glass and the rubber it's gonna gonna stick a lot more so big thank you to william and the facebook group for tesla i'll put a link in the description below as well 
to that Tesla Facebook group. And if this helped you, let me know in the comments section below. I hope it has. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.